Greetings to everyone. Thank you for stopping by. All of those who purchased my op MIDI master, I want to thank you for purchasing it. And thank you guys for subscribing. It really means a lot and it really helps me to push more to share my knowledge or to share my understanding of something and see if you 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 know get what I'm saying or you you know sit well with it. Okay, so first of all I'm gonna say I will be doing a, a chain of videos that have to do with basic piano and basic gospel piano and then after that I go into advanced stuff because I thought about some stuff and I'm saying that I need to show like young musicians coming up or those who don't really understand much about the piano that it's not really that hard and you can just take these steps to learning it and you know you can watch my videos and get something from it so let's get to it the first thing I'm gonna do is the number system okay so the number systems it's just basically assigning numbers to notes and these are specific notes so you don't take a number and put it to any note this so based on the C major scale or major scale overall okay so you have your major scale like this okay major scale right C is your 1 D is your 2 E is your 3 and it's from 1 to 7 so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 or 8 so, you know, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so now that you know the numbers for the notes, how can you? How can this help you? Okay, this can help you in so many different ways. This can help musicians that need a way of playing in different keys. You know, like transposing into another key. Because you might be in a service and you're playing... But then the singer goes up, so you're like... You know, you, 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 you work off a of muscle memory or you work off of your rem remembrance of like different keys and how they look. But the thing that you need to do, you need to remember like the progression or the numbers of the root of a chord that you're playing. So what I played was a 1, 6, 4, 5. Okay, so what that does, it... It just basically helps those who know the chords already just to put it in different keys so if I was supposed to go into the key of let's say F sharp I say 1 6 4 5 okay so I'm gonna break that down so you know in the key of F sharp you have a F sharp a G sharp A sharp C sharp D sharp and F sharp again so you have a one, one, two, three, four, five, six, then one, two, three, four, then five. Okay. Can you play that? So that can help a lot in transposing into different keys because. I know it transposing is is not a bad thing but it's not a healthy thing to practice because you can use transpose in a in a good way. If you're listening to a song in one key and you want to challenge yourself, you know that you cannot physically change the key of the song without using a special programming software. No, using a special da DAW software. So what I would usually do to challenge myself, I would change the key on the on my keyboard and then try to find it in a different key so say for instance an, an original song would be in the key of c i would probably transpose down to like six down and then you realize that i'd have to find back that c again but in a different key and then play the whole progression and improvise in a different key so transposing depends on how you how you use it if you use it to get out of playing in different keys then it's not good because the, the thing about playing in all keys is that all keys are related and not just C and A or not just minor and major you know because C is a major A is a minor so yeah they have the same notes but start on a different degree 
Like because the mm. A starts on the six, starts on the one. But what I'm saying is that it's far more greater than that. Because if I play a progression in say um C, I might I might can take it into the key of G. The only difference is I would have an F sharp. So you would see the similarities there because You know, so so that was just an example showing you how different keys are related, not just by minor and major. A lot of keys are related in a different way. So even if you were like playing some little top music, if you do listen to the greats or some really good gospel players, you realize that they connect keys because. You realize that some keys are really are really connected together so what you would do is you would practice to the reason why you would practice in different keys is that you would realize that oh if i play this progression right here i can play it in in that key or you realize this resemblance of how that key and that key fits together or how it's not really so far off so the reason why i remember so much of my chords is because the way how I use them, I use them in almost, try, I try to use them in every key, in every concept to see where it can fit and what I can do with it because then I would know the function of it and I would know that, okay, I can use it for this purpose, I can use it for that purpose, like, for instance, this chord. I know it can sound complicated, but it's just for an example purpose. This is just basically a dominant chord and you use it to go to minor chords or even major chords you know like from a half step the lower from above you know like you know like okay so looking at this chord I, w I i usually wonder how can i use this chord in so in different keys the thing that you can do is look what keys it fit in or find out the purpose of the chord so me looking at this chord realize that it has a tritone in it and also that it looks like it's half step motion going to a flat so i can use it in the key of a flat so i can use it as a five one or five one so you see how that connects and then i can use it in a minor So you see so that's like e flat 7 went to a minor, a flat minor so what what you can do is you can identify the different keys so i was in the key of b you know it's, it's funny so i did a three six three six you know that helped me so if i was supposed to go like in the key of c sharp and do a three six you know it, it it's not supposed to be hard because i know the chords but now that i have the numbers i can you know put it into use and then realize how much it helps to use the numbers so another example another example would be as you'd always, everyone likes to play a 736. Right? Going into moving into other keys. If it's that you do use the numbers, but it's hard to like, you know, get the chords, in, or the sound exact in the other keys. The thing that I used to do, I used to play out the, the notes and then whichever key I want to play it in I usually just take the long road and then just just move move it up a half step or so so if it was C sharp this would be this and this would be this so you can see that the chord is right based on the MIDI master chord detector so you can see a sharp 9 flat 5 and if I go back down here so sharp 9 flat 5 well, because I'm holding the major third, but if I was supposed to hold on, oh sorry. 
Sorry, my fault. If I was supposed to hold that now, you would see. Yeah. You would see that B diminish. B half diminish, actually. This would be half diminish, this full diminish. Get into that. Okay, so. You can just move them up in half steps, whatever chord, if it's even a major 7 chord. You know, move it up in half steps based on the key. So, example for that, if I was want, if I wanted to play like a, a major 7 in D, I would play C major 7 first, or based on what key I know it in. And then I would take, I would ask myself, how far is D from C? And then I would say D is just two semitones. So I will go up two semitones. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And there we go, D major 7. I hope this has really helped somebody. Again, if you have any suggestions to any videos that you want to see or some topics, please let me know. I will make sure that I, I will make sure to tell you if I can do it or not or if I can help you. Because, you know, I'm trying to really assist those who really don't have anyone assisting them. So I hope this channel really helps somebody and really impacts somebody. And also, if you don't mind, you can support my app. Midi Master 8 is the app that I'm currently using now to display the chords. I'm still improving, improving more stuff on it, making it even better. You know, but I'm waiting until everybody gets a feel of it and then I release the be some better versions, you know, take some opinions of you of you guys, how you'd want the app to look, how you want it to sound and stuff. So again, thanks for watching.